Okay, this is going to be an unboxing video for a Linksys WMP600N dual band wireless N Wi Fi PCI adapter. I'm going to put this in an older PC that I have to make it wireless. Now, you can get this at Tiger Direct. Currently, I think their price is $79.99. And Newegg is offering a promotion for it for $59.99. I don't know how long that'll last. But uh, I got it off of eBay. Uh, it's a refurbished model. It's factory refurbished. It's even sealed. Factory sealed and refurbished. Uh, I got it for $36 shipped. So sometimes you can get a good deal on eBay. Just make sure you know what you're looking for. Now... It's going to be pretty easy here. We're just going to turn it up on its side and slice the seal here. And that should release the... Oh, we got one more seal on the side here. There we go. And here we are. First thing you see in the box is the documentation that comes with it. Basically saying that it's Linksys certified refurbished product and it has a limited warranty with it. So sometimes you can get a really good deal with refurbished products. Next thing you see is the driver CD. You're going to need that when you install it. And a little piece of styrofoam there. This is the PCI card itself. On this side you'll see you have two antennas on it. You're going to, I'm going to show you that in a second, how you put those on and this is your bracket here that's the underside of the card and here is where you plug it in to the machine and I'll show you that soon so that is the card itself you get two antennas to put on the back again this is dual band so that's why there's two and then packaging and an empty box it's real simple what you want to do to attach these antennas is you just plug them in and screw them on. There you go. And I have a Linksys dual band router, so not that you need to have a, you know, match the brands, but it's going to work well with this, I know. And then, you know, you can put these antennas any way you want. Next thing we're going to do is install it on the machine itself. Okay, what we have here, I have an older Lenovo. Actually, it has the IBM branding on it still, but it's an older Lenovo Think Center. I'm using this as an HTPC, uh, home theater PC, for one of my rooms, so I can pretty much pull in content from networks if I miss a show. Not that I watch a lot of shows, but if I miss a show that I want to watch um, in that room. So this is pretty easy, pretty accessible on this machine. It just has two little points that you push in on the side, and it opens right up, which is pretty cool. There's a PCI slot right here on the machine. Now this is the area of the PC that we're going to be focusing on. Now this particular model is very modular and I really like it. Um, what you want to do is you're going to pull this card out of the motherboard and then the slot is right here where the PCI slot is and we're going to work on it that way. And We also have to pull out this back plate here so we can actually fit the antennas and everything through the back of it. So we're just going to there's a little handle here, a little handle, and I'm just going to pull it right out. See that pulled right out of the motherboard, and this is the slot that we're going to use up here. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to pull out this top plate here so we can fit the card in there. In order to do that, there's... Now your model is probably going to be totally different, so... But in this scenario, what we have to do is we have to pull this back here and expose this area here where the actual plate is up top here. And what we want to do is on the bottom here, you'll notice this plate fits in here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pry this up gently. There we go. And it's out. Now, what I want to do is I want to put the PCI card in the slot here. You want to just feed the antennas through here. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to make sure this is lined up here so that everything's going to fit right in perfectly, okay? So, everything's lined up, and we're going to push this down. 
until it snaps in, snaps into place. Now in my case here, there's a little lock here that's it's pretty much toolless. There's no, there are no screws or anything like that. You just want to lock it back down up here, and it is installed. All right, now the next thing I need to do is I need to install it back into the case. So we're just going to fit it back right where we got it from. And you just want to line up your connectors down here and make sure you're not going to force it in or anything like that. And it should just slide in perfectly. There we go. All right, we have the wireless card installed. Now all we have to do is just close up our case. And now you'll notice on the back, there are two little antennas here. Dual band wireless. Okay, now we're going to fire up the machine for the first time and install the drivers for this. Okay, found new hardware. Windows needs to install driver software for your network controller. Um, I'm going to ignore this and I'm going to put in the disk that came with the card itself. All right, I installed the CD and it should bring up the installer for the drivers here. Okay, we're gonna run the program. All right, we just wanna follow the wizard here, the install shield wizard. So we're gonna go start setup. It says, welcome to Linksys setup wizard. This wizard will guide you through a few easy steps to set up and configure your new Linksys adapter. I am, I speak English, so I'm going to choose English there or leave it on English and click next to continue. Then you get your software user or software end user license agreement or EULA. Of course, I'm going to accept this because otherwise I can't use this. Didn't read it. I don't think anybody reads them. Now preparing system for install, please wait. It's checking system configuration and now it's copying files. System prepared, ready to install. Adapter installed, congratulations, your adapter has been installed correctly. Click next. Installing Linksys Wireless Manager. We are installing the Linksys Wireless Manager utility which will give you the best experience when connecting to a wireless network. Please wait while this software is installed. This may take several minutes. So I'm going to wait. Now it wants to connect to a wireless network, so it's searching for wireless networks. Okay, I put an edit in there because it showed all the network information, but I chose my network. And the next screen that comes up here, it says quickly connect using push button. Now since I do have a Linksys Wireless N dual band router, um, I could do that. It says follow these steps to quickly connect to your secured network. Number one, find the button on your router with the image below and push it. Note you may have to hold the button down until the light flashes. Uh, number two, it says after pressing the button on your router, click connect within two minutes to automatically connect to the network. So I'm actually going to run up to my router, which is on a different floor than I'm on right now and I'm going to press that button and I have two minutes to hit connect. So I'm going to put an edit in here so you don't have to wait for me to run upstairs. All right, I'm back and I'm going to hit connect here. Registering to network, checking connection. This may take a few moments. Connecting to your network and then the next step is check internet connection. Right now it's connecting to the network. It connected, now it's checking the internet connection. All right, it says the check was complete and now I am connected to my network. It says congratulations, your adapter has been configured and your connection to the internet is fully functional. Now the one thing to note on here is that I did not have to enter in my security passcode um, to connect to the router in this case because I used the quick connect 
function on it where I actually press the button on the router. In normal situations when you would connect, when you put a, a wireless card in, in your computer, you would have to bring up your wireless manager, bring up all the different networks in your area, and then click on your network and then put in your, your passcode because hopefully you have a secured wireless network. Because if you have a wireless network in your house, you better make sure that it's encrypted because if you don't, it's just going to open up a can of worms uh, for you, you basically. So in this case, I didn't have to enter it in, but that's because it knows that I'm here and I pressed a button on the router. So um, my signal strength is excellent and I'm going to click finish on here and the one thing you will notice is I do have a piece of paper taped to the area where it shows my my wireless information but I'm going to click finish here and it says Linksys adapter setup wizard your settings have been saved to your desktop as Linksys adapter txt alright that closed out and it now says manage your wireless networks this is the Linksys adapter setup wizard and it says to help manage your connections to wireless networks the Linksys wireless manager utility has been installed on your computer you can access this utility from the start menu or by double clicking the icon shown below located in the system tray that's down here it's the little uh, I don't know if you can make it out but it's the it shows the signal strength down there so I'm gonna hit OK and now I should be able to go on to the internet. So let's try it out real quick and go to Google Chrome, which is my browser of choice. And it brings up Tech Harvest's YouTube. That's me, Tech Harvest. Mm -hmm.